Hi, this is Carrie with Canary Created, and today I'm going to briefly show you how I took a Korean dress blues uniform and turned it into a bag. So I had to start with taking the lining out of the um, jacket, and I used a beard trimmer to trim all the seams so I could take the lining out much easier than using a seam ripper, and at the moment I don't have a seam ripper. But as you can see, it takes, it's quite time consuming, and I wanted to keep all the wool intact so I would have it to work with later when I'm laying out the pattern. Uh, most of the lining didn't come out in pieces that I could use. It was uh, quilted, it had canvas, it was sewn in many places. Um, but once I got it out, Um, I had to cut away the uh, breast pockets there so I could keep the wool intact so I would have the entire jacket to use in the end. Um, this process probably took about an hour. Um, fairly tedious, but worth it in the end. Because as you can see, I'm putting the jacket back together here so I can turn it and see how I'm going to utilize the pockets and how I'm going to cut out the pattern. At this point I'm going to take the pattern piece and lay it over the pockets just to see what I'm working with. How much room do I have to lay the pockets out onto the front of this bag. That's half the bag you're seeing right there in the pattern. So once I know how to do that then I need to take the pockets off and that is more seam ripping which is a little more tedious because of the short stitches that are in these pockets. So you just have to be careful. You have to be careful that you're not going to put a hole in the material either as you're taking these off. So once I got the top ones off, then I had to move to the bottom ones, which were a little easier. Um, still pretty tedious getting it off. But as you can see there, it's just the corners that are really rough. So I got one side off and then I go the other side and I get that one off. Okay, I'm using the back of the coat right now. And I'm going to cut out from the bottom of the coat and that's going to be the front of the bag. And it's got that um, opening in the tail of the coat there that I will sew shut before I start actually working with this piece. And I pin all my pieces together so I know what they are and then I take the back top of the jacket do the same thing, cut the back of the purse out. So now I have to cut the side of the, um, the sides of the purse out and I'm using the portion where the bottom pockets were because that's a nice big piece without a seam in it. But I had to cut the front of the jacket. I had to trim the jacket so I could get a bigger piece there. Now I'm using the pants to cut the side pockets out. And I'm using the side of the pants had that gold trim. And I'm using that as the center of the pocket. And then I'm going to cut the bottom of the bag out of this, out of the pants also, and use that gold trim as the center of the bottom of the bag. Right there, you can see I'm cutting the bottom of the bag out. And when you see the bag in the end, you'll see that the two gold stripes go together. They make one long stripe. And these I'm cutting out the handle holders that are going to go on the front and back of the bag. So here's the military bag pieces cut out. I've got the pockets from the front of the bag. That's going to be the top breast of the front of the bag, and that's going to be the front of the bag. Pockets from the bottom of the jacket are going to be in the back of the bag. Then the pants are going to be the side pockets and the bottom of the bag. I'm making a swoon, a net traveler. It's going to be that size and it's going to be that shape. So you can see that these yellow sides are what the blue is going to be. And then the effervescent is what is right here. And this one's going to have pockets on the front. 
incorporated from the jacket. And then the sleeves I cut out for the strap and the handles. So at this point I've got the pockets sewn onto the front and they are usable pockets and then the pocket flaps from the bottom of the jacket are on the back and now I'm putting on the handle holders and I'm using double-sided tape to keep it all in place so when I sew it doesn't get scooted around. And those are sewn on now. And I'm going to just kind of lay out where I want all the embellishments to kind of go. That's not where they end up but I just want to make sure they fit before I go on with the bag. And I put the um, buttons from the front of the bag on or from the front of the jacket on the front of the bag also. Now I'm putting the side pockets together and this is where I used the lining of the jacket as the lining of these pockets. That's the only place I used the lining of the jacket. Those are sewn together and I'm putting on the crossbody um, holders there on the to the side of the bag and there it is put together. Now I've got to put the zipper on the top and I make my own zippers so I made one about 22 inches and I've got to keep it about an inch from the middle of that V on the side of the bag get that hooked on get it sewn on make sure it's correct go to the other side and get that sewn on also and then when I get to the other side I will pin the zipper down on the side of the bag to get nice uh, to get a nice clean ending to my zipper over there so it doesn't wrinkle now I'm putting the zipper on the lining again with double-sided tape which I use for everything and it washes away also and here's the finished bag I have the gun upside down I need to switch that but it turned out really really nice I love how the blue and the black go together and then the gold stripe goes along the sides and the bottom and this is a usable bag and when you see the handles here in a minute you'll see that I use the embellishments on the jacket that are down by the wrist on the top of the handles and then here's the uniform again before it became a bag <laughs>